channel it's your girl Sharon aka the Mellow Nostalgic Runner and we are back again for Get Fit, Me with, Get Fit With Me series Prisons Accountability and um, I originally wasn't going to film this I was actually doing another, another video but yeah I got talking and that's what's happening and I will explain further in the video that you see next because I'm going to do some editing and this is going to go at the beginning of what's going on here but anyway Tune in. Morning. So I just woke up. It is now um, day five. So technically full day four. And um, yeah, one blemish down. So this is no longer here. The toothpaste. I'm telling you this tooth, toothpaste trick works. It dries it out and then it's gone. And then you don't have to do any, you know, nasty stuff. You don't have blemishes afterwards. Because this is from when I don't do that. And that's not good. You don't want to pop but sometimes it's hard to avoid um i know it's kind of gross and almost tmi and then i have one here that is almost gone this is basically almost gone too i really wasn't gonna pop that because yeah it's too close to like other things and then this is almost gone too so the toothpaste thing is working like i said but anyway um i'm on here because i want to recap what happened yesterday um i have videos because i but I just didn't talk. <laughs> I wanted to kind of just express how awesome this trip has been so far. Um, so this is my last day at this Airbnb. And then next I'm going to be in the mountain area um, at um, you, I think it's called Utato. Um, I think that's what's called Utato. Um, I'll put the name here. That's where I'm going to be heading to today. Um, that's where I'm going to be staying at anyway. But I'm actually going to be going to um, Aguadita, um, on the way, because that's going to be kind of taking the scenic route again, but I'm going to be doing some beach days today. So today is going to be more of a beach day. Um, not so much hiking yesterday. I did a lot of hiking. Um, not really a lot, but about the time I got to the place, I hiked for, um, almost for about two and a half miles. Um, actually it was a little, a little bit over two and a half miles. Um, because I couldn't figure it out until I left, until I got back. And I wish I would have, I didn't log it originally on my watch, but I did actually measure it through my Google map because I literally used Google map the whole entire time while I was walking. So it worked out. Um, so I was able to actually get some like hiking in because that was hiking. Like, um, part of it was flat, but other parts of it when I was like over by like the, um cliffs and everything was a little bit more of the hiking thing and parts of it was a little scary because some of the height some of the um hiking was right by the cliff and then there's the um caribbean sea <laughs> so it was like if i misstep or just get clumsy i'm in the caribbean sea and this is not the part of the caribbean sea where you want to swim at because it's cliffed it's all cliffs yeah anyway so I did that yesterday. Um, so let me share a little bit more because I kind of went a little bit in detail. Like in my, um, I did like a voice note thing and I kind of wanted to describe that a little bit more. So I went to a coffee shop that's like down the street from like where I'm staying at. And so I literally walked there, which was awesome. I was glad I did that because I got all the sun that I, I that was how I got the day started. I was like, okay, now I got some sun. This is good. And I'm starting to get a tan finally. Um, cause first two days, uh, first two, almost three days, I didn't really walk around that much. And when I did, it was kind of gloomy out. So like, I really wasn't getting a tan. And so it's funny cause my mom was all concerned while I was talking to her. She was like, oh my gosh, you're gonna be so tan when you get back. I'm like, I don't know about that. And she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, it's been overcasting, um, raining and cloudy almost this whole trip so far, which it kind of has been, um, it, I've had moments where it hasn't been and I've been taking full advantage of the times where it hasn't been. So I've been kind of risking it and being outside, um, not really outside, outside, but like in my car going to the destinations and be like, okay, let's chance it. Maybe about the time I get to the destination because some of the places I'm going are like an hour, over an hour drive. And there are different parts of the island and I'm not as aware of the weather patterns here when it comes to like how 
you know, thunder um, systems and storms happen or storms happen, not thunderstorms, because I didn't really see thunder, but like, um, or lightning. But um, I'm not as familiar with the storm patterns here. So I figured, okay, if I maybe drive further down south, maybe about time to get down south, the storm's gone, which I was right. <laughs> I'm glad I did that. But anyway, so I'll go more into detail in the morning. We'll go from there. Okay. So, um, I went, so I went to the breakfast place. I met Kelly. Kelly didn't talk at, at much, so much as first. Kelly is actually, was my server, by the way. Um, and, um, cause this was like a coffee shop slash like a breath, breakfast brunch type situation. So you could get brunch there too. And it was actually kind of like in a little bit of like a, almost like a food truck type situation, but wasn't quite a food truck. Um, those who are familiar with like cough, like how coffee shops sometimes work when they're like in little smaller things, that's pretty much what it was. But there's places to sit and everything. And you saw in the picture that there were chickens, there were um, ducks, um, there were also, um, there was also a peacock there just walking around. <laughs> And, oh, side note, I probably shouldn't mention this before. Not so much on this part of the island, but I would say, like, the eastern part, the south, the southeastern, the south and the southeastern part of the island, there are a ton of stray animals here. So, like, stray cats, um, stray um, dogs. It's kind of sad, but at the same time, they're kind of cute. Um Yeah. So that part's kind of cool. They're, and they don't, none of them look like they're like, they, they're they're thinner, but none of them look like they're like, you know, have like any disease or anything on them. I didn't touch them, but none of them look diseased and they're harmless and they just walk around, just do their own thing. So a whole bunch of feral animals around here. Um, but actually not really feral because they're not, they're stray. I would say they're more stray versus feral because they're not running away from people. They're still just like walking around. Like they're just kind of being free and just doing their own thing. And people do leave food and stuff out for them um, so they can eat wherever. But yeah, they're just walking around being free and stuff. It's pretty chill. Um, also, I forgot to mention when I was in... Um, you, Ibaka, you, you, Bako, yeah, you, Baka, you, Bako. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I need to actually hold on. I'm gonna get the enunciation of this together and I'll be okay ready. now. Cause I, okay, I apologize a thousand times for how many times I botched Yabakoa. <laughs> That's where I was at. I was at Yabakoa. So Yabakoa is, um, Kelly mentioned is actually one of the oldest cities in Puerto Rico. It's actually an ancient city. And it's where the natives were from before Christopher Columbus came and kind of ruined everything <laughs> for like all of us. Um, yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> so that is um, what, what, and so it's a very historically significant city. It's not just about the sugar. And I felt really stupid when she was telling me about this. I didn't tell her that that's why I thought it was, but I, she, I just let her educate me. And I was like, okay, okay, this is really, really good to know. So she's like, oh no, you're like at a very, it's a very ancient city, ancestor, like it's a very spiritual city. It's a very ancestral city, like not just for like um, the um, indigenous people who are from here, because um, that's who they're, that's actually what they were, they, they, that was the name of the tribe, is um, the Yabakoa. And she's like, but it also is symbol, symbolic of us as a people, like, you know, the indigenous the black and the Spanish combined to make, to make us become Puerto Rican. I'm like, wow. She's like, yeah, yeah. And she's like, and we, we, we here as a culture, like we really embrace all three sides that this is what makes us Puerto Rican. We're, we're, we're indigenous, we're black and we're, you know, we're, 
were were you know Mexican? I mean, were um, not Mexican. Wow, that would have been very. I'm sorry, sorry. I'm cutting that out. And were um, Spanish. And I'm like, okay, that is dope. She's like, yeah, yeah. Um, so no wonder when you got there, you were at peace. <laughs> like that was probably your ancestors like making you do that. And I was like, I thought that's how I felt. Like I was no matter when I got there, like I was forced to sit down. And I ain't gonna hold you. I, I I think I said it even in my like voice note. I think that's why this happened. It was because I sometimes will not sit down even though I should sit down. So my body will force me to sit down one way or the other. Like last year, even when I wanted to like go around doing all these things, that's why I broke my toe. Other times where like, if I need to like relax or whatever, all of a sudden I'll get sick out of nowhere and it doesn't even make any sense. Cause that's the thing. Half the time, whenever I do get like kind of like sinus infested or whatever, I'm not around anybody. So it makes no sense where it comes from. <laughs> Cause even the time before that, I had like a little bit of a sinus issue probably about a month ago. And it was sinuses, and I know it was because I literally was not around anyone for it to be anything else. And they're like, well, and some people I was talking to, well, you went to the gym. I'm like, but I do that every day. And I don't, I'm not in anyone's face. And I wipe the machines down. And I, I like, I pretty much stay at distance when I'm at the gym. And I kind of have a little bit of a um, RBF when I'm at the gym because I don't like being bothered. I like to get, get to work and get out of there. So... Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And also, too, the other thing is while I'm at the gym, I'm not someone who touches their face while I'm working out because that's gross because that is literally how that happens. So, and then even this time, the only thing I could think of that might have caused anything was that I went out Saturday night. Well, Saturday during the day and ended up being the night. <laughs> and I think it caught up to me with the my immune system just like that. Like, my immune system was kind of somewhat weakened or compromised because of that. Um, Because I felt fine Sunday, which was really weird. I probably should have been, like, hungover, and I really wasn't. I just had a headache, and that was it. But it was also because I drank a ton of water, too. Like, I I don't know. I I can't make sense of it. I'm trying to, but it's not, the math is not mapping. But whatever. My point is, I was forced to sit down. There's... Times where I'm just forced to sit down and this is what it is. But anyway, I'm rambling on to the next thing that I was going to mention. So, um, yeah. So then, um, I also decided, so the other thing that I did yesterday, once I went to the coffee shop and I got educated basically, cause I totally did. Um, cause she mentioned also the coffee grounds that she got. You can also just get the coffee grounds that she, that they're using at the grocery store here, but it's, it is Puerto Rican, um coffee beans. Um, I'm not, I don't really want to get them at the grocery store because they're not going to be as fresh clearly. Um, or they could be, cause I don't know. I don't know how they do their, um, grocery stuff around here. Um, but I'm assuming it wouldn't be, um, it will make more sense to get at the coffee shop. So she actually showed me, um, she gave me the QR code to scan cause it's around the bag. Like she gave me the whole bag. She was like, this is what we're using for like our coffee beans. I was like, oh, okay. And she was like, you scan it and it'll take you, it'll, you can go on the website and show you where the farm's at. A farm is in the vicinity where I'm going to next. So I can either go to that farm, which I think I'm not going to do that one because I actually have another coffee farm that I can go to that actually does a tour. And this one, the one that she told me about, it's a little bit more of a mom and pop situation. And I'm almost... And she even mentioned, like, they probably don't speak English. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay. So that's going to be a struggle. And I don't want to be anyone's struggle. Because um, I feel bad that that's been happening. Um, but, I mean, fortunately for me, I'm really, really good now saying, like, Los Cientos. Uh, um, Los Cientos. Um, no, Los Cientos. Um, mi Espanol es muy malo. Or mala. Um... I'm really good at saying that now. <laughs> um, and I've been saying hola and gracias. Um, um, 
which is gracias. And, um, and also I can, I mean, I can still say muy bien and buenos dias. Like the things are coming back. The thing is, I haven't used these skills in so long. And I was talking, that was cool too. Cause when I was talking to Kelly, about, I was like, I used to actually be good at, I used to actually know Spanish. And she's like, dang. I'm like, yeah. She's like, did you take it in high school or something? I was like, yeah, I took it four years. I took it like for three years of high school and two years of college. So I took Spanish for like almost what, five, six years of college. I mean, five or six years. And also I had a job where I was a cashier at like, um, Kmart. That's a throwback for anyone who knows. Um, <laughs> Which is kind of like, because Kmart's like the precursor to a Walmart, basically. But anyway, I used to work at a Kmart. And the Kmart that I worked at, there were a lot of Hispanic people that would come through. Um, mainly, since where I'm from, it's mainly, um, it was mainly Mexicans that would come through. I, I know there are sometimes, it sometimes wouldn't be, but... Based off of the location where I was originally from, which is like Indiana, um, a lot of farmer based cultures um, outside of, you know, they're non American settle in Fort Wayne because it's similar type of climate and stuff. But anyway, well, not climate, similar type of um, agricultural stuff. So anyway, I, I say all that to say I used to actually work at a Kmart where there were a lot of non-English speaking Hispanic people that would come through. And so with there at the register, it will sometimes be a struggle bus for those who didn't know, but I would have to like sometimes break in and be like, okay. Um, and also too, the funny thing is that was funny about it and kind of good about it though, too, is sometimes I wouldn't let them know that know that I know Spanish because sometimes they would be talking about me. I would hear everything they're saying. And I just would just keep my mouth shut. I'm like. And then I would just break out in Spanish. Like, oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Like, they're like, okay, okay. And it would be hilarious. Um, but anyway, yeah, I lost that skill, um, unfortunately. Um, although I'm not gonna hold you listening to people talk around here a little bit more. It's getting a little bit easier, but not really. Because Puerto Rican slang and, you know, Mexican slang are not going to be the same. Like, all, even, like, if I went to Miami, the slang's going to be different there, too, because that's Cuban. You know, a lot of the people who are there are Cuban. So it's it's all going to be different. Because even when, um, even with my ex, because I actually used to date someone who's Hispanic, and but he was Cuban. And, but he was, like, American Cuban. And so I'm pretty sure what he was talking about, what he was saying, it was like he was learning because also to his, his dad never taught him. He actually learned it through school. So he was probably speaking Spain Spanish and not like this side of the equator Spanish. <laughs> so and I don't know if there's a difference of what they speak like in, um, you know, Cuba versus like Spain. But he prob it probably was more accurate because his dad was like Spain, like he's he's he was white. He was um, you know, white Cuban. So there's that. Anyway, I say all that to say I got way sidetracked, and I don't know if I'm going to keep all this. We might mix mix and do this, but um, after I got educated, then I ended up going to um, Cabo Rojo. And on my way to Cabo Rojo, I was like, it started ringing again. I was like, no. So one of the places I was originally going to go to, to hike, couldn't do it. I got there and I think I, that's the picture that you saw. Wasn't happening because it was raining and it wasn't going to pass. It, it was not going to pass. At least not within the time frame of me wanting to get everything done and all that stuff. So um, from there, then I went to try to go to another place. I was like, okay, this is a little too close to the other place I just came from. So I know this isn't going to work. Well, I didn't know yet. Um, so I actually went to the beach, try to go to the beach to go out and no, that beach was not going to be a thing. So then I ended up at the last place I was at where no clouds. I mean, there was clouds, but 
there was no like it wasn't cloudy like to the point where it looked like it was going to rain. So I was like, okay, I might be in the clear. So and I was. And then that's where you saw all the places I was at. And it was super dope. And I enjoyed it. And then after that, then that's my head back. And then once I head back, I am glad I did that because I almost did turn around after the second time it was raining. I was like, man, I think this day might be a wash. Um, but I was like, no, no, no. Let me just see what the rest, because this is like at the tip, by the way. This is like at the tip of like the southern tip of the west. So it was like the southwest tip. So I was like, maybe if I go further down, the weather pattern might be completely different. And it was. So then from there, I did head back. And then while I was heading back, it was raining still. Even to the point where I got back up to where I was at, where I'm staying at. And I'm going to figure out the enunciation of this too. Okay, okay. so by the way, I'm at Rinkong. 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 Yeah, Rinkong. Anyway, so that's where I'm at. I'm at Rinkong. Rinkong. <laughs> it... I think there has to be a faster way of saying that, but I'm at Rinkong, um, Puerto Rico right now. And, um, sorry, allergies, still not, I'm still 100% together, but we're getting there. And also too, I just woke up, by the way, if I didn't already say that before. But anyway, so from there, um, I headed back to Rinkong and I went immediately to get dinner and also to check out their beer company. They had a brew. <laughs> Because that's my other mission. So besides getting, I want to bring back some coffee. I also want to bring back some beer. Those are two things I want to bring back. I might try out, well, three things. Because I, I am going to try to bring back some rum too. Um, so those are three things I want to bring back. The rum, I'm probably not going to touch often. Because I don't really drink rum like that anymore. I used to. But I don't really do like liquor so much anymore. For example, and I was talking to... um one well, of my friends about this. I brought vodka, vodka um, when I was at a, like a whiskey tasting thing about child. This is almost like, this is over two years ago. It was it 2022 was a whiskey tasting that my ex took me on and on Valentine's day. And I still have it left. And if anything, there was someone who I was kind of like entertaining for a second who drank more of it. I was kind of annoyed with them. And that's when I realized, oh, we can't see each other anymore because you're kind of a drunk. <laughs> that's really bad if I'm saying that to you, by the way. But anyway, so I totally got sidetracked. And why did that person just catch a stray? Anyway, neither here nor there. That's just a side note. But... Um, what I will say though is, um, yeah, so those are, that's my mission, but, um, so, and I had a couple different beers that they're known for here. And so I brought some, I have some back. Um, so that was pretty much all I really did after that because it was raining when I got here and got back here and then it was kind of dark too. Cause, oh, also another side note. So I'm so used to how Chicago is. Chicago's on central time, number one. And because it's on Central Time, it doesn't get dark in Chicago until like about 6.30, 7 o'clock. It gets dark here fairly quickly here. It's it's weird. But it gets, it, it gets light slightly earlier here. Not really, though. Because Chicago gets light around 6-something. And it kind of got light here around 6-something. But like the sun starts setting around here like at five something. So this is like truly like Eastern time. And I and I don't know why I didn't think of that um, about how time zones really do make a difference. Um, because the further west you are, you have ironically, you kind of feel, it feels like you have more time during the day than you do. And the east, you don't. And it would make sense that that ideology would work if I was not waking up earlier. I've been waking up based off the sun here. Like, I clearly have been waking up. Like, so I'm recording this since it's six something. Okay. That's, well, it started at six something. Now it's probably seven something. But that is how I've been working. And I've been also going to sleep fairly early, except for yesterday and the day before. Yes. Day before I went to sleep, like at like kind of like 11 30, no, 11 40. 
Yesterday I went to sleep like at 11.24, which is really, if I'm on central time, that's really 10 something. So I'm getting back to like my normal pattern of sleeping, which is good because I want to get back to that normal pattern before I start my new job. Um, so yeah, but anyway, um, that is what, how things have been so far, but today what I have planned is, yeah, I'm gonna, um, let me get the enunciations of these other places I'm going to today together and then I'll be back. Okay. So on my way to Utada, um, I will be going to Aguadilla. Um, so Aguadilla is a little bit further north, um, than where I'm staying at right now. Um, Retong. Ah! <laughs> I'm getting the enunciations together. I'm getting it together. Um, side note. When I come back, because I am going to be back, I'm going to have this Spanish brushed up. I Now, I ain't going to hold you. This trip has inspired me to relearn Spanish. I wasn't as inspired until this trip. I really do want to relearn Spanish because I feel I feel like such a doof at times where I don't know these things. I really should. And it's really it's really frustrating. I'm not going to hold you. So I am definitely going to relearn it. And also too, if I would still know it, especially when I was in some of the smaller towns, outside the hair, I kind of blend it in like a local anyway. And actually, this isn't even that crazy because people you know, around here, especially the women also do braids and stuff too. And also have like, you know, colors and a lot, of, I saw a lot of people with red hair who like are locals here, um, but it's dyed and it's their actual hair. But yeah, I would blend it in a lot more if I would just know how to, you know, speak the language, um, a little bit better because I, I can really struggle bust it, which I have been doing, but who wants to do that? <laughs> it's it's frustrating for everyone. So I don't really want to do that again. So I think next time I'm here, because I am going to come back, um, I'm going to brush up on the Spanish like big time. Um, also too, I am going to try to do next time I'm here, I'm going to try to do more of the adventurous stuff. This time around, I just really need to relax. Um, and I thought I was going to be ripping and running, doing this, that, and this, and uh, I kind of been ripping and running a little bit. Like I did that on um, Wednesday and Thursday a little bit. Well, yesterday, not so much, um, but Wednesday I did. And then today I'm going to be kind of moving around a little bit too, because I'm going to the next location. Really, I feel like when I'm going to the next location is kind of where I'm ripping and running. Only difference is, so from Utana to um, San Juan, I won't be doing that as much because there is an area on the way to San Juan where I need to make sure, I'm pretty sure Kelly mentioned it's over on the way, but it's not in San Juan to avoid. I'm going to avoid it. So I'm not going to rip and run. I'm probably going to go directly from Utana to San Juan and just call it good because Especially Old Town San Juan. Like, I want to try to get directly over there and get to my hotel. And after that, then the trip's going to be almost over with. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about the trip being almost over with. Um, but I do know that tomorrow... So, I'm thinking when I get to um, Utada, um, I'm probably going to try to do yoga too. I'm not going to be doing so much around there. Um, there are some hikes I can do, but it really depends on if it's been raining over there or not. Because again, I'm still not familiar with like the storm patterns here. And if the rain has made it all the way to like the mountains over there. Because um, now I'm in another, now I'm in the other part of the, the island. Like I went from, I literally did this. I circled the island. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. I've been circling the island. So now, um, also next time, I think I'm going to do the ferry too. Because I was thinking about maybe doing the ferry even when I, the day, um, my birthday. I think I might. 
But I also rather do San Juan and like go to, I really might go to um, the um, rum tasting instead and do the art stuff. So I have to figure out which one of those things I'm going to do. Because I do want to experience old San Juan and do some of that stuff, but I walk around more. Also, too, once I'm at the hotel, I can actually start running because um, there's a treadmill and stuff there. There's a gym, so I might do that there because I haven't ran at all. Um, and I don't feel bad about it, but I do know I overpacked. <laughs> I think next time I won't do that. Um, I know now next time I won't overpack. And next time I think I'm going to only make the trip be like five days instead of like the full eight. Because um, as much as I liked um, going to the historical um, site um, of, um, and I'm going to get the name again. Hold on. Hold on. Because I forgot how to say it, but I'm going to go back and get it. Yeah. So as much as I enjoyed Yabacoa, um, I don't want to um i think if i go to yabacoa that's when i just need to really be in my zen and hum moment and i honestly want to go back there when my spanish is a lot better because that is more of a like a local local place like people don't go there normally tourists like me don't go that was weird that i went kind of not really um but that's, that's the tea. But that's how I am though. I don't like to go places where everyone goes. <laughs> so that, so while everyone else was probably partying and doing it up at San Juan who came, got off the air, got off my plane. I was like, oh no, 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 no. That's some conventional thing. I'm going to do something different. And that's why I did. But I was able to like see everything. I was also able to see how windy the roads are. I also was able to see, oh Wow. I guess for me, I just felt better what, how I've done this trip so far because I was able to see all aspects of the culture a little bit more um, and not just San Juan. Like, I'm pretty sure that's where like a lot of the um, U.S. money goes into. And I don't want to get too political, but you, you do, you have to understand with once I, because I ventured and saw all a lot of the island already, I do feel away. I ain't gonna hold you, um, and not towards anyone here. Clearly, it's more or less the way our government. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop it. I'm going to stop it. I want to, but oh my gosh! So where I'm at now is touristy. So of course it looks amazing. It's going to. And even some of the areas like um, pumps, pumps, that looks all right, but it doesn't look all right because it's not as touristy. But it's one of the one of the major larger cities too, besides San Juan. But because this is more of a tourist destination. This is taking, so like the west part of the island is taking care of a lot more from what I saw. A lot more. The roads are better, like a lot better, like westernized roads. Um, there are some narrow roads, but they're not, um, they're marked just fine. They're marked very well, paid. I, I also don't, I guess I'm not, also, I'm, I'm speaking from the fact that I'm not exactly sure if this part of the island gets impacted by hurricanes as much because it's on the Caribbean side. Um, I almost want to fact check that to see if that's the reason why this is just like taken care of more. And there isn't as many stray animals over here. But then while I was in the southern part of Puerto Rico, it's hard not to feel away. I, I, I'll just be honest, it's hard not to feel away. But those who know me already know I'd be feeling away just being at home. Like I, I know how I know how our government be doing. <laughs> like, I don't think anyone's happy about it at this point, to be honest. So, um, it just made me think about it a little bit more. I'll be honest. I was just kind of like, hmm, 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 and it even made me look up. I, I even I kind of went a little bit of a deep dive when I was like, when, um, when I got back yesterday, 
to see like the cost of living here versus everything else. I'm just like, for this being such, this, there's so much potential that they can be like, that can hap that could happen here. So much potential. And it's just like, child, colonizing is just, mm, mm, mm. I mean, clearly my people didn't do that. So it's not. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop because I really want to go in and I'm not going to do that. But um, yeah, it just made me think of that. I was like, wow. Wow. Mm -mm. But yeah, okay. Now I'm now I'm just like talking or whatever. But um, I will document more of what I'm doing today once I'm doing stuff. Um, I'm going to chill a little bit longer because my checkout um, for this um, Airbnb is now to like 11. So I'm up super early and I already packed last night thinking I was going to have to rush forever. I did the opposite of the very first place. The very first place, it was kind of like beat the clock when it came to like doing all that, but I also didn't feel that great. And now I feel normal. It's just I'm a little like stuffy here and that's it. Um, so I'm kind of blowing my nose here and there, but that's about it. Um, also because it keeps raining, that does not help my sciences. <laughs> my sciences hate rain. <laughs> um, but it would be raining up north anyway, because I think it did rain up north, but where, where I'm at, where I'm from. So anyway, I'm going to get off here. I'm rambling. Um, at this point, this is going to be so many videos. I feel like this Puerto Rico series of seeing things differently is going to go on for like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I think, so I think my plan is what I'm going to do. Hold on. Let me go. So I think this is what I'm going to do. Um, I think, um, for my content, I'm going to, so the month, pretty much the month of like, no, Pretty much the last, the last week of April, so like not, not this weekend that's coming up, but the weekend after, all the way till I think like the third or fourth week of May, this will be a lot of the content um, for my personal stuff that's not a review. And then I will also have the Seeing Things, and this is the Seeing Things Differently series, by the way, for those who haven't been able to see this. Um... And then also, I will try to get back to the Get Fit With Me Presents Accountability because we're not doing that right now at all. Because um, then I'll be back to half marathon training. I pretty much took like three weeks off of half marathon training too. Because um, why not? Um, no, that's kind of not good. But whatever. Whatever. We're going to get back to it when I get home. Um... I'm going to treat it as such. That's just going to be what it is. Um, I need to stop worrying. And that's, that is going to be one of the things we're going to put in my, um, get filmed with me presents accountability. I think I actually might film that one like today about not worrying and also to just chill. Um, tranquila. Um, la tranquila. Um, because, and also not to just like make a lemonade out of lemons. If that's your mindset, your life will be so much easier. <laughs> I, I, I promise you it would be. The way I made so much lemonade the past two months, almost three months. It's giving Beyonce album. <laughs> like it's it's given the Beyonce album lemonade. That is how I have been doing. Okay. And I kind of want to put that message out there to the world so that for those who just feel away and feel just kind of like, you know, down and out. And I try to actually even preach this to, to my ex when I was dating my ex. He was such a negative person. Um, when it came to a lot of things and I was like, Quit complaining about the same thing. Do something about it. But unbeknownst to me, as I'm doing this, 
I'm kind of getting sucked into his ideology in a way. So I kind of got, you know, with the job situation, I should have been left that job. But I'm glad that I waited. I'm glad it turned out the way it did, actually, to be honest, because I think it, it worked out better for me, actually. You know, because it is all about timing also. It's you, you can't always just be like, well, do something about it now. That's not always how that works. And that is, that is an Aries trait. We like to do something about things right away. But sometimes right away isn't it. And you just got to be patient and, you know, deal with it. And for me, what I did for a while was I was, I kind of talked myself into being like, you know, what? I'm okay with it. And if anything, I'm learning more, which was true. All this was valid. All this was true. But did I like it more? No, not really. <laughs> but did I learn more? Yes. Did it work out for me to stay there longer? Yes. What, did I have better references because I stayed there longer? Yes. You know? And even when it comes to like... Sometimes you just gotta slow down. You know? You gotta... Tranquila. Relax. Even when it came to this trip... I was flipping out about so many random things, like worrying, thinking something wasn't going to work out. And literally every time where I was going that direction, I had to talk myself down. And then I would get to where I was at. I was like, girl, you worked yourself up for nothing. <laughs> and it was not to, and, and I wasn't frustrated or mad at myself anymore because I just, now I know that this is what I do. I couldn't do, I couldn't do anything but laugh. I'm just like, Child, just relax. Relax. You have a plan. There's a plan. Whether it's your plan or the universe's plan or God's plan, there's a plan. Just because it doesn't go your way all the way, maybe your way wasn't really the correct way. Relax. You know? And, okay, this is already turning to the... Get Fit When We Presents Accountability. We're just going to put that for this. This is Get Fit When We Presents Accountability. Hi, welcome. This is your girl, Sharon, a.k.a. The Melanin Nostalgic Runner. Welcome to that. Um, <laughs> we're just going to put that there. And for those who are wondering what I have going on my face, I have toothpaste on my blemishes because I just woke up. I'm in my bed clothes. And I'm in a different location. But if you've been watching the Seeing Things Differently series, you would know where I'm at. Um, anyway. But that's what this trip has taught me. Is that um, I gotta relax. I have to relax. And I think I'm, I don't think I mentioned this before. And let me get out and come back. <laughs>